Hi, beautiful. So we have a double dose of fun in this video. We are going to shout out the birthdays for today. Happy birthday, Kelly, Kelly L in New York City. We have Chazy, happy birthday. I hope I'm saying it right, Chazy. Sarah, Roger, and Des Bukhari. Happy birthday, you guys. From the bottom of my heart, I hope you celebrate. Have a drink today. Um, also, you know, just enjoy your family. I feel like that's probably the best birthday you could have is being around people who absolutely adore you. I also want to apologize today for my fan in here in the tarot room. It spins at a very rapid rate, so you guys will hear it from time to time. And we pan down now because of a complaint in yesterday's video. <laughs> Somebody said, stop showing your face and show the cards. So I was a bit offended by that and I was saddened because that's the way I've always done it. And so if you guys prefer to see reactions, please let me know in the comments today. That way we could co co-create and co-conspirate together so that the channel is more comfortable for you. But some guy yesterday was saying that um, I wasn't doing the reading, you know, like showing my hands. And I felt that that was sad because I do it in the most honest way on this channel. Like you cannot, you can't make it up like you have the cards in your hand. So inevitably, thank you for your comment. I appreciated you so much. And um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't do that. But um, I wanted to say welcome back. I, it just, you know, I've always been very honest on this channel, especially because every day I come on here and I've meditated for a long period of time for all of you. I've, I've done a lot of pre-research before I even sit down. So uh, thank you so much for your love and support. I also want to remind you that today is going to be an extensive new love day. And I'm also going to go into pentacles in the future videos too. Okay, so let's get started. What is this person feeling through the 7th, extending to the 11th? The 12th will start a brand new video. All right, what are they feeling? The person, abundance, <laughs> abundance. We have a, a beautiful card of a lady going through like a cotton candy sphere. It says, open your heart to receive the abundant love the universe has to offer. So they view you as someone who naturally correlates with, you move with abundance as how, you know, you depict yourself in your 3D, you are an abundant energy. You have a high vibration. You are a naturally positive person. They view you as this coming up, like that's a coming up energy. Why? Thank you. Surprise. Okay, maybe there's a surprise brewing for, I don't wanna say it's the big collective here. I think only 20 people will genuinely get a surprise. You have to look at the demographic of things where each and every Libra is at, but this can also be a birthday surprise coming up. It says romantic surprises are on the horizon. And you know too, I genuinely feel in our birthday month, there is a huge transformation that occurs either on the soul level or something in your life will change. It says be open to them. So if we are close to these surprises, they probably won't be willing to come to us. So an open heart is one of the biggest advices for new love. We have abundance and surprise. Why is this all coming in at this time? Because of passion. Okay, um, so we have a little bit of Beauty and the Beast here. It looks like it's been grounded into a real life series on Netflix called Bell. <laughs> and it says, keep the flame of passion alive. It's the heartbeat of love. I think somebody tells you something. I mean, point blank. You can get the gist from just three energy cards. And I do believe like some people are planning specifically on your birth date. Okay. Kelly and Chasey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's their birthdays today. And let's see here. Um, fourth card for the week, maybe towards the 11th, we got the three of swords, butterfly. All right. We're going to read them together. One is because of heartbreak or somebody feels left out or they do not feel as connected to you. It could be a past person where I'm getting the heartbreak from. Butterfly says you will meet a new love interest at a party or a night out. Or you get connected with a friend, okay? And a friend introduces you onward to a new person. So this could be the night of your birthday. And I was getting this download even as I was driving today for you guys. Sometimes if you're intuiting and you don't have cards in front of you, you will get the downloads actually faster as if you were doing a reading, okay? And that's something I intimately wanted to share as a secret to some of you is just let the thoughts flow sometimes. Bottom of the deck is a dream of yours could be coming true. I'm gonna read the entire quote. It says, look to your dreams, they hold all the answers for ya. 
okay? We're gonna do a mini Celtic cross here and it's, you know, it's gonna be intense because you get the cards live. So hopefully you're relaxed right now because it gets intense for your reader. Look for those two. My favorite card was the dreams because inevitably all the others cannot interact unless you are high vibrational and you are positive. Um, let's see what their feelings are. One big card for the entire, let's go for the entire week for new love. Who's this new love person? Why are they connecting so badly? Let's check it out here. Right now you could be having a lot of conversations with this person. We have two and I wanna show it because of that guy that complained yesterday <laughs> on the video and you know who you are. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, we have action and it says, put your action to work or they might be doing things that are, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting somebody who's doing more than saying. I'm getting an action taker in this reading. If you see all of the orange and yellow, their sacral and their solar could be lit up right now. They could be getting creative ideas. This person is using more of actions toward you. They're not waiting and they're doing in terms of your energy. This person could be fire. I don't want to say it's, I'm not getting really a water sign because usually they're typically slow in the zodiac. This is coming off more fire and earthy for me, but we'll get cards for the new person and you are an inner peace. You've arrived at a day of peaceful interactions. You're having a bright day today. I do believe I'm talking to somebody who is experiencing a birth date today or you're experiencing your actual birthday. Happy birthday to all the Libras in this month also. Inner peace is coming out as your card. Okay, what do I wanna do here? Let's get the actions for this person over here. Why are they actually doing things now and proposing that um, they have speed? Maybe some of them have like a little bit of a dominant energy. I'm getting the word dominance. What is this person doing? King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, the week of the 7th through the 11th. So this person is very, very honest. Um, for some reason, I'm getting like, I put on my big boy shoes. <laughs> like I heard that as I pulled up the card. <laughs> I'm putting on my big boy shoes. Okay. All right, Divine Masculine. So what else are you up to? What are they planning? Six of Pentacles, a Taurus energy. Okay. And I'll try to bring it back here too so you guys can see. Taurus energy, a generous king of swords, a very honest king of swords comes to you the week of the seventh. Through the, that could be real feelings. So that's like, you know, telling it like it is. Um, being very reciprocal is the six of pentacles. I also feel like this person is sensitive. So you could attach these adjectives to a real life person. Uh, they feel right now that they want to give back. A lot of you, it's because it's your birthday this week, okay? Um, but they, I think that there's some planning here between the two of you. What's the Six of Pentacles? Five of Cups, okay. So somebody feels a little sad. This is a remorseful energy. Some of you might hear from a past person. They might suddenly message because of this Five of Cups. It looks like it's rooted in something from the past between the two of you and they want to just get clear on it because he is the king of getting clear on things. It wouldn't be the king of pentacles and it wouldn't be the king of wands. King of wands just stands back and looks at the king of, of the queen of wands and just admires her. The king of swords is the person who actually does something about it. Okay. Also, they stand by their laurels. They want to be truthful. This is how they want to come in. So that week, there's an action taker around you. Also, for some of you, it's a father figure. So your father could actually connect with you, your dad, um, King of Swords is. What else is going on here? Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody definitely wants to give to this sexy minx in a forest. <laughs> As you can see, her legs are very revealed. The pentacle is there, slightly shown above her navel. And she is still the protector of all good things. One thing that popped out to me, when you're a reader, you will look at particular insignias, the bunny, okay? The bunny is fertility. This person is fertile with ideas. Growing on the week of the seventh through the eighth, you could be really artsy. Some of you could be painters, drawers, um, into music. You might be singing more around the house. And it's showing that there is a lot of giving back energy. You know, the week looks really, really happy especially with people trying to get honest with you in the King of Swords. So that's an important thing too. Remember, this is led by very earthy, you know, everything's grounded. 
So Taurus and Capricorn here are very grounded energies. They are not flying in the sky. Very grounded energies for that week. It's really realistic. It's grounded in hope. And there's also a lot of faith restored, possibly because somebody has rested. Okay, that's why it's super important in your first video why rest was such a big thing. Uh, let's see here what inner peace has brought in for that week. Oh, there's messages, communication. Okay, so you could be getting new communication now from people who are your soul tribe. Um, the past might be curious about you, but I think these new messages are people that are new. And I also think that they're connections via your work or your networking that serve a higher purpose for later on. That's that inner peace card. These communicate, it, it came in really fast. Like you get it in an abundance too with the eight of wands. What's that for the eighth, ninth, and 10th knight of wands? So it could start from a Sagittarius energy, but usually this is really energetic fun. It's sexy. It's passionate with the knight of wands. Also, it can come in fast because the speed of this card is rapid. Who, what kind of people show up for that? What, what is that? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, some of them could be Libras. Some of them could be Libras greeting you or air family members. Um, something will test, what I'm getting here is it'll test some of your boundaries as well. So it could be past people trying to see what you're up to. Um, the fire energy is what's coming in for the Libra card of the Queen of Swords. So I think you're definitely going to have to reinforce those boundaries that you set up, okay? Because someone feels left out in the cold, the other flipper. Okay, split is the Seven of Swords. Why do we see the Seven of Swords here? Okay, we have the Magician, somebody trying to manifest you. Yeah, I see that. It's like, oh gosh, I know. I know. Okay, I'm going to have to say it. It's something to do with like, I need your help. Um, I might practically need to ask you for something. It doesn't come in needy. It just comes in as information. And I'm going to leave it there because I don't get it any other way. I just see information happening. What is that that Libra picks up on? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that they're secure. That they have things going for them that are absolutely positive. Aside from maybe drama around, okay, or people talking around. I feel like you're super content. I think others are picking up that you're content in the Nine of Pentacles. You had it twice. That's interesting. Twice, even in the weekly. So this is going to be a big card. I'll show it one more time. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo-like energy. So if it's in your chart, you're tapping into that a lot more this week. Very productive. You look good, smell good, productive. Um... I'm, I'm hearing here magical, like there's something magical about you. See, I think what's going on too, there's another message about being grounded as the queen of pentacles and that's your magic, is your normalcy also. I don't know if some of you get that, that are women because I feel that it's like the more grounded you've become, the more magical actually you appear to others and you're almost coming off as a high priestess too in this card, even if we don't have it. Okay, what's the outcome of that week? Page of Swords. Somebody is looking in on you. That's how I got it. I say it to you exactly how I received it. Page of Swords is Ten of Wands. There's fears. Uh, maybe this person originally created a boundary with you, but they come out of that. They're coming out of it because they are studying what is working for you in the Page of Swords. Oh, to look at this. This is kind of funny with the artwork as well, you guys. If you look at this page, looking at the productive adulting of the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, excuse me, can I seek your advice a little bit in that picture? You see how cute? It's like, let me talk to you for a second. And I see that more and more as I continue with the reading. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So they want to show generosity. Huge card in the beginning. Um, can I see the final outcome of the week? Justice. Four of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Just three cards. Let me turn it over. Three of Wands, Hanged Man, Ten of Cups, Tower. Three of Swords. Okay. And you guys could recognize the artwork. Okay. This is what I've come to. It's come from a place of feeling heartbroken. Somebody feels heartbroken in connection to you. Can be a past friend. Like for some of you, this is not romantic. It can be a friend that's attached to you. 
What's surprising about this reading is a lot of it is holding on energy or I want to reinvest and come back. Seven of Pentacles is I want to invest in this friendship or you as a person. I'm spying because Libra has been really lucrative. Okay. I'm holding on to them too in that beautiful Four of Pentacles card, which is the guy in the stone because you've reached a, a really pivotal place in your life. A lot of this might be because your coming of age has had a celebration, okay? And that's what I want to name this reading is most of all, it's a coming of age of your spirit. There's a lot of things that can be working out uh, specifically when you sit down and do the practical work, okay? So we have the justice card here. Let me clarify why this is happening. What is the justice card proving for today? Also, this could be a weekly, so you can write down some of the notes here. Moon card, so there's something you don't know, okay? About someone's feelings, intentions, it could actually be very good, and that's gonna create justice as well, or there's a meter for the two of you to talk in a plain, plain way, and it gets things out of the way is what I see here, because if you look in the moon card, even if it's mystery, uh, she is rejoicing in the water. Okay, at the end of where those two wolves are talking. What is this uh, surprise element with the moon? What do we find out? The sun and the three of pentacles. Collaboration. Yeah, collaboration. The sun card is about getting enlightened. I think here that somebody collaborating with you, Libra, somebody who partners up with you, brings you happiness the week of the 7th through the 11th. Somebody very supportive that you look to as being a supportive person okay they shine through your birthday week and it's almost like they meet you where you're at and this might not be originally who you thought it was it could be a different person with the three of pentacles they come off very sweet when i pulled these two cards so it's possibly someone you know like that that currently exists in your storyline the three of pentacles is about collaborating with you it's collaborating with this person which is a libra and that is the justice card. What I've come to with new love is there's somebody looking in on you that wants to hold on to your energy. And the reason why you're being pre-warned in this reading is because there's certain valuable things that you have done in your life, okay, that are also now receiving award with the Queen of Pentacles to the Six, a very generous, loving person, maybe of which you have always been and you have, um, you have a really like, nice grounded nature to you the week of the 7th through the 11th i think it's something that you're doing or you closed out and you're sure about now okay because it's providing a lot of abundance and coin and that's what i see at the end of this reading if you have any requests today please put it down below this video too and i will be here for most of the afternoon so i thank you guys very much if this reading was yours please let me know with a small star at the bottom of this video